subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about the top interview questions for planning and administering Microsoft Azure for SAP workloads. So let's get started. Question number 1. What is Azure VMs? Your answer is. Azure VMs make up the fundamental infrastructure as a service compute service offerings available in Azure. Azure VMs present the most elevated degree of control over the virtual machine's configuration and operating system. Question number 2. Can user configure a VM's operating system manually? Your answer is. Users can configure a VM's operating system manually, or in an automated manner, by utilizing virtual machine extensions. VM extensions rely on technologies such as desired state configuration, Windows PowerShell scripts, Chef, or Puppet. Question number 3, is it possible to change an instance size once the virtual machine has been made? Your answer is, yes, we can. This is possible by navigating to size under settings option, we could be able to change the instance type to higher or lower configurations. Question number 4, what do you understand by Azure Storage for SAP Workloads? Your answer is, Azure has multiple storage types that vary vastly in abilities, throughput, latency, and values. Some of the storage types are well suited or optimized for particular SAP workload scenarios while others are less so. Some Azure storage types got certified for usage with SAP HANA. Question number 5, what are Azure managed disks? Your answer is, managed disks are a source type in Azure Resource Manager. They can be utilized instead of VHDs stored in Azure storage accounts. Also, Manage disks automatically adjust with the availability set of the virtual machine they're connected to. That's the availability of your virtual machine, and the services that are working on the virtual machine. Question number 6. Define Azure Premium Storage. Your answer is. One of the Azure storage options suggested for SAP workloads in non-production and production systems is Azure Premium Storage. Database workloads are suitable for Azure Premium Storage. Question number 7. What are the four methods for provisioning storage for SAP workloads in Azure? Your answer is. The four methods for provisioning storage for SAP workloads in Azure are as follows. 1. Azure VM Disks. 2. Azure VM NFS Storage. 3. SAP HANA on Azure, Large Instance, Storage. 4. Azure VM SMB Storage. Question number 8, explain load balancers. Your answer is, to assign traffic to virtual machines in the application tier subnet, load balancers are applied. When using Azure Zones, practice the standard load balancer. For high availability, utilize the built-in SAP Web Dispatcher, Azure Load Balancer, or other mechanisms, depending on the traffic type or the required network services. Question number 9. What is Proximity Placement Group? Your answer is. This logical group puts a constraint on VMs deployed in an availability set or a virtual machine scale set. A Proximity Placement Group chooses collocation, indicating that virtual machines reside in the identical data center to minimize application latency. Question number 10. Explain the work of availability sets? Your answer is. To increase service availability, availability sets disperse servers to multiple physical infrastructure and update groups. To assist protect against downtime caused by Azure infrastructure maintenance and to satisfy service level agreements, group virtual machines that execute the same task into an availability set. To attain the greater SLA, you'll need two or more virtual machines per availability set. Question number 11. Define Express Route Fast Path. Your answer is. Also known as Microsoft Edge Exchange V2, FastPath executes MZ at the entry point of the Azure network. It decreases network hops for most data packets. FastPath lowers network latency, increases application performance, and is the default for new express route connections to Azure. 
Question number 12. What support options should an user use while operating SAP systems on Microsoft Azure VMs? Your answer is. SAP suggests that users should pick one of the following support options when operating SAP systems on Microsoft Azure VMs. 1. Professional Direct. Provides the bare minimum support level, appropriate if you only require support from Microsoft for Azure itself. 2. Microsoft Premier Support. Recommended if SAP workloads are based on Windows Server and or SQL Server. This offers the best enterprise level support for Azure, Windows, and or SQL Server. Question number 13. What are the functions sustained in an application gateway? Your answer is. It maintains URL-based routing, multiple site hosting, redirection, web application firewall, session affinity, SSL termination. WebSocket, and HTTP 2 traffic. Question number 14. Which designation is allocated to the candidate who successfully clear the exam AZ120? Your answer is Exam AZ120. Planning and administering Microsoft Azure for SAP workloads is a part of the requirement for Microsoft certified Azure for SAP workloads specialty. For Azure for SAP workloads, the applicant can become a Microsoft certified architect or engineer. Question number 15. What skills does an engineer for Azure for SAP workloads have? Your answer is. They have extensive expertise and understanding of the SAP system landscape, as well as industry norms relevant to the long-term operation of SAP solutions on Microsoft Azure. Also, Extensive experience and knowledge of SAP applications, SAP HANA, S4 HANA, SAP NetWeaver, SAP BW4 HANA, OS servers for SAP applications and databases, Azure Portal, ARM templates, operating systems, virtualization, cloud infrastructure, storage structures, high availability design, disaster recovery design, data protection concepts, and networking. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.